This is Andrew for the Chosen Prime with a quick video review of Action Toys Machine Robo 02 Rod Drill. Um, he's from the Japan uh, line called uh, Machine Robo. Um, here in the US, we knew these toys as when they brought over here as GoBots. Um, the GoBot name for this character was Screwhead. Um, this particular figure is based off of a Japanese animation about Machine Robo called Revenge of Kronos, and so that's why he's stylized the way he is. Inside his box, you do get the figure. He comes packaged in a nice uh, clamshell, and then behind the figure is uh, a set of parts to build um, stages and bases, as seen here on the left. Um, I'll show off some uh, other variations of this base shortly. You get a pair of tonfas that a uh, rod drill here can hold, and I'll show those off. He comes with a larger drill he head here um, for when he's in vehicle mode, if you want to make it so it's a longer drill. He comes with a little part here that lets him uh, plug into and hold and be able to be posed and flying on the uh, base. He also comes with a pair, a uh, nice pair of uh, colored instructions as well as some tips of how to transform them and what you need to do. So go ahead and uh, focus on some details. Taking a look at Rod Drill in detail, I can say that he's the most uh, posable of the three Action Toys Machine Robo figures so far. Um, He's uh, designed to kind of have a lot of emotion. He's got an ab crunch, waist swivel, his head's on a ball joint, can tilt a little bit. Um, the shoulders can move forward and back a bit. Um, he's got nice uh, knee bends, ankle tilt. And overall, he's kind of the one, the one of the figures that feels the most like um, the original Machine Robo or GoBot toy. Um, he does have die cast in him, parts here where it's shiny, like here on his back and his legs are actually metal. So he's got a bit of weight to him, even though he's kind of small. Um, people have said that he uh, kind of has design influences that uh, match the fans project designers. And if you actually look at the underside of the box, it says that the designer for this toy was L.U.K. from Awaken Studio, um, which is the same for Eagle Robo, or their version of Leader One. If you want to, you can take his tonfas, and they just they just peg in to the a slot underneath his hand as well as the, into his palm. He does have two of them, and so he can wield his uh, tonfas. Um, unfortunately, he does not have any wrist uh, swivel, but he does have the uh, double jointed arms, and he can still get some nice uh, kind of poses out of out of this tiny little figure. If you want to, you can uh, have him uh, pose on his flight stand. You just come to his backside here, and that little extra part that he comes with, um, you just would go ahead and take it and kind of peg it onto his backside like that, which leaves a little port here at the bottom. So if you take and build the flight stand as a flight stand here with the arm like this, and take this peg and peg it under the underside of this hole, you can then go ahead and uh, have him posed uh, flying, you know, trying to punch someone out of the air, you have a lot of different options here uh, with the stand with its uh, ratcheting joints. So it's kind of up to you how you want to kind of pose them. So go ahead and uh, we'll transform him. You actually do not need to remove the tonfas uh, to transform him into his uh, drill tank mode. Um, but to start, what you want to do is rotate his hands or his lower arms so that these blades on these tonfas are facing forward. So just rotate them on this uh, ball joint like that. And if you look, there's actually a channel on each arm that kind of would match this uh, kind of tab here in the chest and what you want to do is you want to rotate them in and kind of make so that that channel um, plugs in and so that the arms kind of sit like that. Come to the lower legs here and this back part of the heel it'll lift up and out of the way and so you kind of want to lift it up and rotate it around so it's as out of the way as possible on each side so go ahead and grab this heel spur lift it up and move this out of the way. And I actually recommend doing this step out of order is that there's this little flap here on the, on the heels and it does kind of stick because it's on a ball joint. So you want to go ahead and make sure that those are open first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just rotate these uh, legs onto themselves. And so you want to make sure that you have clearance with this piece here as you're rotating it forward. And you want to do both legs that way so that they collapse like this. Go ahead and peg the legs together. There's a tab there. And then these feet will go ahead and sit on the upper side here. And they're essentially the up, upper side of the drill tank. Come around to the back here. Um, make sure that the fists, the underside of the fist, or the up, up part of the fist actually peg into the legs here. 
to hold in securely. There's a lot of tabs on these figures, which is kind of nice. Um, come to these ball jointed pieces, fold up this heel, and there's actually a peg hole and then this peg you want to match up and plug onto the back side like that to fill in the back of the uh, tank. So fairly simple transformation, but fun, kind of like what the original Gobets were. Um, you can leave his original head here on um, as a drill, drill, but if you want to, you can um, install this much longer one, is what they show in the instructions. And so all you do is you take the head and pull it off the ball joint. There's just a ball joint there. And then take the newer drill and plug it in there. And there is Rod Drill in his uh, drill tank mode, all ready to go. Looking at him in his drill tank mode, you can kind of see that this uh, deep navy blue that he is is kind of nice and glossy. He's got tank treads, uh, none moving on both the top and the bottom, which would make sense for a drill tank to kind of want to be able to push through um, the ground on both sides. And it's, he does, you know, it is a simple um, looking transformer, but it, does, it is nice looking at this. Uh, because of the ball joint, you can move the drill around. Um, he does have tiny little wheels on the underside, so if he did want to roll him, he could, but you know, it doesn't work exactly the best. But it's a nice tiny little draw, drill, and it does homage the original uh, Machine Robo or Gobot figure. With regards to all the uh, stand parts that come with each one of these Machine Robo figures, you can see that here's all the parts you get. You get uh, two plates, you get kind of four of these, uh, these arms, you get uh, kind of girders here that you can either make walls or you can make uh, these pivoting things here. You get uh, three ratcheting uh, kind of joints here that are nice and stiff. And you can kind of see as, you're, as I take this one apart, um, there's all kinds of peg holes throughout each one of these panels. Um, this part comes off, you can kind of take. And th there's a lot more options than just what I've kind of shown here and what the instructions show. Um, the way that this panel can kind of break apart this way and then they actually can hook together and go that way. So you can even make a bigger stand if you wanted to. Um, same difference if you wanted to. Uh, you can take these two panels and come and make a stand this way. And so there's a lot of options. You can see there's just a whole lot of uh, kind of playability here and how you want to set up uh, these stands. Row mill comparisons for Rod Drill with the other Machine Robo figures that have been released. As you can see, Rod Drill here is considerably smaller than the other two. Um, but I still think he looks good uh, side by side. I think stylistically, he still looks fine. Um, design wise, he's still got the same kind of nice design and look. And the variety in sizes here looks good um, to kind of have these modern uh, GoBots as part of your collection. Vehicle mode comparisons. Again, you can see that Rod Drill is considerably smaller than uh, Eagle Robo in his alternate mode, but then Tank and Eagle Robo are roughly the same kind of scale in their kind of battle tank or drill tank uh, forms. I think they still look like good uh, homages to those uh, classic GoBot uh, vehicles. Some additional Robo mode comparisons here for Rod Drill with some other figures. Um, here's Fans Project Car Crash, which has kind of got the same sensibilities, but it's smaller. Uh, here's fellow Renegade GoBot. Um, Crasher, this is uh, actually Fracture, that was the official release from Hasbro, and then here's Combiner Wars Deluxe. So you can see that Rod Drill is uh, quite tiny. Uh, he really is uh, scout-sized here in his robot mode. But I think uh, he looks good here amongst other uh, deluxe-sized figures for your uh, kind of, you want, a, you want a classics version of uh, the, the GoBot character. And so I think he fits well amongst uh, his shelves here, kind of being this little tiny little version of the Renegade. In vehicle mode, Rod Drill is still considerably smaller than the rest. He's smaller than Car Crash, considerably smaller than a Fracture, and then way smaller than a deluxe size uh, aerial bot. But I still think uh, Rod Drill looks nice uh, stylistically amongst the others in his vehicle mode. Some final thoughts here on Action Toys Machine Robo Rod Drill. I think he's kind of the most fun of the first three. Um, GoBots or Machine Robo figures from uh, the company. He's got the most kind of personality and kind of fun. He's simple, but he still has a kind of posability and build quality. He's nice and heavy. His transformation's kind of fun. Again, he's got a lot of emotion the way you can kind of pose him with this fly standard just alone. And so I'm actually quite a fan of him, even though he is kind of a, a tiny little figure. Rodril, Tank, and Eagle Robo are all currently available from the Chosen Prime. And if you want some new GoBots, uh, they're available today. So take care.